Pedro from AMP Reacts. We're here today with Seller Darling in Toronto. Uh, how are you guys doing? Very good. Yeah. Very good. Good. Better now that we're fed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had some some desserts. Yeah. Right. Uh, how, how was your trip to Toronto? Everything was good. Yeah. Everything was great. Yeah, it's beautiful landscape in this country, so it's, it's always a scenic drive. Wow. So I have to ask you guys this question. You guys had a, a, a few shows in North America, Montreal, New York, Toronto. Is the reason why you guys picked Toronto because this is the greatest city in North America? I think we should say yes. I don't know. I, I don't think, think no, that's going yes. on the internet. We can't do that. Yeah. It definitely is among the greatest cities in North America. I, I can say that much. Yeah. We're in neutral Swiss yeah. politically correct yeah. state. It would be in any list of top cities. I, I like the answer. The answer was very, very Swiss, very Swiss. So after these shows, you guys are going to go back home. You guys are, are globe trotters, as far as I'm concerned. You guys had some shows in Japan, had some shows here. Are you running out of pages on your passport for yes. stamps? In fact, yes. We all have. I got a new one. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, it happened as well. Do you guys feel like you're constantly living out of a suitcase? Like you, you travel all over the place. It seems like you're always on the road. Try to be. Um, yeah, we, yeah. It, was, it used to be more actually with our previous band, so, but we're starting to get more and more shows going. Uh, how was the tour in, in Japan? The shows in Japan? Amazing. We love Japan. Now, you guys are working on a new album, yes. and uh, it would be remiss of me not to talk about it. So, is there anything you guys can? let the fans know as far as that new album is concerned. I know you guys hinted on having a title for the album and some other key components of the album. Is there anything that you guys can reveal at this point about that new record? We should agree on such stuff. Yeah, we never agree on now. things like that, but I am I wouldn't reveal too much just to keep some of the mystery. Um, but what you can know is that we're going to release our first single very soon from the new album. Yes. Do, do you guys have a, a set deadline or at least a loose deadline for when, when you guys are planning on, on releasing the record? We know exactly when we're going to release it. Yeah, but we're not telling you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to go around, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I, I guess it's not working. No. So, uh, uh, one more question I have related to the album is, uh, are you guys going to include any covers uh, on that album? Specifically the quote, the cover that you guys have done of Queen, would that be included in the new record? That won't be on the record. Also, I think it's a separate single now, anyway, or digitally at least. Um, we are considering covers in the future, like this bonus track, but it's, you can't say yet if there's going to be anything Has this album been more difficult than the first record, or it has been uh, just another step in the evolution of the band? Well, we're still working on the album. Yeah. Not done. It's halfway through. So, I would say yes, it was kind of more difficult. Different and difficult, maybe. Yeah, it's different. You know, the first album we tried to find our sound. I think we did find our sound for now, so this part is definitely easier now. But on the other hand, yeah, we, we just face different, different problems this time, or problems, or just different challenges. challenges yeah. yeah, with the first album, it was still kind of, we, it was still more of a naive approach, just, oh, let's just play music and see what happens. And now we all kind of know what we want. And what we want is more of everything, which is which is more difficult, I would say. The songs are more complex, they're, they're longer, most, most of them. And we've really, you know, we have a, a challenging goal ahead of us. It's a concept album. Say that much. So yeah, I would say it was more difficult, but also more rewarding in a way, more mature as well. It, it, is the work in the studio a collaboration between all? Do you guys come in with different ideas, but then sit down and try to merge those ideas into what do you guys want the the next song to be or the next record to be, sound-wise and lyrically? 
Yeah, it's um, it's always been like that. It's a collaboration of us three. Um, the song ideas they stem from either Evil or me. So there's the typical Evil songs and then the typical uh, songs that come from me. But then we sit in the rehearsal room and we just write together and arrange the songs together. And a lot also happens in the studio. We don't like to, you know, have everything ready because we like to see what happens also with their producer, Tommy Fetterly. Actually, this time we, we went kind of deliberately into the studio with only about half of the album in the form of ideas, and we tried to like let it grow in the studio. So that was a... I, I, I was looking at the set list that you guys played in Montreal, and it's pretty much the, uh, the first record with one edition. Um, at, at what point do you guys think we'll start incorporating some of the newer songs, even before the album comes out perhaps, but start incorporating maybe a song here and there into your set list? As soon as we find the time to practice and learn them. <laughs> that, that we would have loved to play a new song on this tour, it's just there was no time to, to, get, it, to, get, it, to get it to get it live shape. Is that one of the disadvantages, perhaps, of, of traveling so much and playing so many shows? That doesn't leave a lot of room for you guys to really work on the music side of things? Yeah, it's a bit chaotic. Like, it's it's hard to, to get into a routine because you're traveling and then you come back and then you feel sorry for yourself and you need rest from all the traveling. And, and then... You maybe also want to work on some other projects. Uh, we all have, you know, other jobs. He's uh, in management. I'm a sound engineer, and Evo is a night guard. Night guard. That sounds like your sounds like a superhero. Sounds, yeah, like, a he's superhero. A superhero, yeah. sounds um, like a superhero. And so, you know, there's that, and then there's family, and you know, all kinds of shit. And you want to have time for everything, and then you realize that you fucked up all the routine stuff. So that's kind of hard to, to manage. But we we're more the type of band that has like rehearsal weeks than rehearsing once a week. So we have these intense sessions. I want to switch gears a little bit because I know I'm not going to get much more out of you guys as far as the new album is concerned. You guys are tight-lipped. Not even with the desserts, I was able to <laughs> to sweeten <laughs> the deal. I, I tried. Maybe yeah. after the <laughs> ice wine. Maybe after the ice wine. After one. this, we're going to play our new singing from the iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the question I have now is a little bit more, uh, let's say, different. So I, I want to start with you, Anna. Um, I see a lot of musicians doing private lessons on Skype or even during tour. Have you ever considered hurdy gurdy private lessons? I have, uh, but the problem is I wouldn't know how and what to teach. I think I would I would first have to learn given lessons because I don't want to just you know be like oh I'm Matt Murphy you know I. Already. I want to, you know, be able to actually teach someone something that's worth something. And the problem is that I just learned it kind of by ear. I can't read or write music like on paper with notes. And I think it's pretty hard to teach something without having a tool like that. Because um, you can't expect people to be like you are and to learn things like you do. So. I was kind of giving myself a, like this uh, goal that I would at some point learn some theory so that I can, you know, make some notes and, and teach people stuff. But I guess it's going to be a new project for the future. And, and my next question is for Merlin. You, you have an awesome beard. Uh, being a, a bearded man myself, the question I have for you is what do you do to keep it in such nice shape? It looks very fluffy, very alive if you will it's a like, question of attitude in the morning you stare at it in the, in the <laughs> mirror and you make it grow that way that's that's the secret you're doing a wonderful job you're an inspiration to all of us that are trying Thank to you. achieve the same kind of goal including Thank myself uh for you i have a question for you is how do you put up with these two guys like anna and, and merlin just look like the wild side side of the band and you look like the more centered part of the band so yeah that's my fault so I think uh, like the thing in between 
maybe the one who keeps it all together somehow. I don't know. It's the glue that keeps it all together. Maybe. Yeah, that's actually, I would say that is correct. One more question. <laughs> I have one more question for you guys. I don't want to take too much of your time. So my, my next question is, uh, will we see Seller Darling in North America perhaps doing a tour once the new record comes out? Is that something that you guys have as a goal? Yes, absolutely. It's definitely as a goal. And unless something terrible happens, it will happen soon. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I hope to see you guys here soon. Take care, guys. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.